What is up makers? Today we are going to talk about how you can up your 3D printing game and transform your plain old models into awesome texture ones with the new Idea Maker 4.1. So stick around. Idea Maker has come a very long way in the last two years with constant updates and new features. Last week they released version 4.1, which has in it some awesome features. The most prominent one is the texture add-on feature where you can paste images directly onto STL files, giving them a whole new look. Usually in order to create texture models, these would have to be done in CAD, which is not feasible to everyone. I've done quite a few CAD model projects myself, and even I struggle with adding texture to my models. However, now that doesn't really matter because all you need now is a photo of your preferred pattern, design or image and simply wrap it around the STL model inside IdeaMaker. Simply load your model into IdeaMaker and click on texture. From there, choose custom texture from the drop down list. You'll have a few options here, but we'll stick to what matters the most. First thing to do is click on the plus sign to import your texture image or file. IdeaMaker.io already has a few textures available you can download or you can simply use an image of your own. I tend to use Google because it's quite full of them. I just search for monochrome images or monochrome patterns and the choice is pretty much endless. The mapping type represents the way the texture is projected onto the model. Each one will work different on the models you are using. The best way to test it out um, to, to figure out which method best works with your model is uh, to just cycle through them and see which one fits the best. The move, repeat and rotate functions speak for themselves, which will tweak the pattern to your liking. Now there are a few things to note here. The texture image will project on every face or surface of the model. So if for example you have a cylinder like the one I have here for my DNA lamp, it will also project the texture on the inside of the model, which is where I have my threads and you know all the um, very important stuff for the lamp to go together. And obviously I don't want that. I don't want to lose my geometry. I just want the texture to be on the outside of the model. Now there are two ways to fix this. The first one is go to slice and edit and on the texture tab, check the texture outside only option. This will pretty much solve that issue. And what it will do, it will simply create the texture on the outside of the model, which is in this case is what I want. As you can see, the texture is now only wrapped around the outside of the STL, leaving the interior untouched. So all the threads I have in there and also the uh, dimensions that I have for the resin part to fit inside are still up to spec. The other option you can use to block textures is by using modifiers. Modifiers is a great feature um, in uh, Idea Maker where it gives you a lot of versatility of what you can do with them. You, you can import uh, standard shapes, you can import SDLs, you can use them as supports or block supports. However, you can also use them to block texture. Click on the modifiers menu and add your preferred shape. Scale it to the size you want and the position you need it in then go back to modifiers menu and from the drop down list choose no texture at overlap with parent model. This will allow you to exclude the texture pattern where you wish depending on where you put your modifier. Now the one thing to keep in mind is the texture feature modifies the dimension of the model by raising the texture on the existing model. So you can choose through the texture menu in the advanced settings whether you want to raise the dark shades of the texture image or the light parts of the image. This comes in very handy if you want to do lithophanes for example seeing as you need an inverted image for lithophanes. But just so you know dimensions will change on the thickness of your SDL. Like for example this little coaster hexagon I did which I printed vertically. As you can see the texture added a millimeter or so to the thickness and also the diameter as the texture image overlapped. So just important to keep that in mind. All in all this feature is absolutely awesome and very welcome. It's nice to see new features like this integrated into slicers which can perk up your 3D printing models. The possibilities are absolutely endless. A simple cylinder can be uh, easily transformed into a tree log by simply projecting some wood grain texture on it. For example, 
Let's say I need a vase, and we can do a very quick one in Fusion 360. It shouldn't take more than 30 seconds. We'll create a sketch. We'll draw a line here. The line going up 10 centimeters. Another line here. Okay. We'll create an arc. We'll do a three-point arc from top to bottom. Take it out a little bit. And done. Now, finish sketch. Revolve, we'll choose the axis, we have the base layers. Now we just want to make a shell. We'll do it five millimeters thick and we have a vase. So that's just literally a vase. Um, it's plain, it's simple. I don't need to put any textures here on it. All I have to do is literally put it into Idea Maker, slap on a texture and transform it completely. And we'll go from this to this. This is the Moai head. It used to be very popular. Um, I, I, I absolutely love it as, as a test piece. So what I did was, uh, seeing as, you know, these tend to be made of stone, granted they are engraved in stone, but you know, slap on some um, pebble texture on it and voila, it's literally completely transformed. I also decided to torture my Elegu Neptune 2 by adding a texture to an already very complex vase designed by Bugman, which turned out absolutely insane. IdeaMaker 4.1 also brought with it belt printer support, so those of you who are receiving your Kickstarter CR30s now will have more options than just Kura. But for that, I'll have to do a separate video on how to set up a belt printer, seeing as I have a CR30 sitting here, which needs to do some work. Another great feature added to this version of Idea Maker, well, the ability to directly print images like you would with Litophanes. Simply import the image you want to print, which will give you a menu for you to either rescale the image, choose the maximum or minimum height thickness of how to emboss the image or of how much you want the image to be embossed, choose the blurriness and the clarity through mesh reduction, and you can also opt to raise the lighter areas of the photo rather than the dark ones. For a properly clear lithophane, it is always recommended to print the image upright, so rotate it 90 degrees upwards and make sure you set a nice brim at the bottom in order for it to be able to stay on the build plate nice and solid while it's printing. That is it for today, guys. Thank you very much to Idea Maker for sponsoring this episode. Make sure you check them out. I will leave their links in the video description. Also, a bit of an announcement for those of you who usually join me during my live streams. I've basically created another channel called Breaks and Makes Live where I'll be doing all the live streams there. However, for the time being, I've kind of transferred onto Twitch. I've been uh, streaming on Twitch for the past week and I'll be doing more so in the coming weeks. I have a lot of projects planned. I'll be doing lots of printing and painting live on air on Twitch. It tends to get a bit wild sometimes and I do things I regret over there. So make sure you join me so you can remind me of the fool I'm, I'm being. Also, any Twitch uh, live streams that I do will be recorded and also pasted onto Breaks and Makes Live. So make sure you subscribe not to miss out on any of those. That is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Also, thank you to my Patreons and my YouTube members for supporting me. I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. Um, for the rest of you, please make sure you subscribe. Uh, follow me. I'm, I'm, I'm a nice guy. I do, I do awesome things. Well, most of the time, but yeah, you know, subscribe, comment, like, share, and as always, happy making guys.